Do you want to know if it really is possible to make more than $500 per day by using Google Translate and affiliate marketing? Then this video is for you. My name is Michael and I've seen a lot of videos and claims online about how easy it is to make money by using Google Translate and affiliate marketing. And therefore, a lot of viewers here have asked me how it really works and if it is possible and if I can show and share my experiences with it. So that's exactly what I will do in this video. And let me just reveal right away that there's a lot of fake claims out there that you need to be aware of. I will show you what does not work because a lot of people that have asked me have ended up wasting hours using techniques that does not work and then I will explain you what approach you need to really make this work and potentially earn more than $500 per day. So let's just jump straight to it and talk about some of the methods that I have seen that other videos claim that you can use to make a lot of money with Google Translate and affiliate marketing. And let me just reveal right away, with affiliate marketing, if you do it right, you can potentially earn real good money. I have done this for years myself. I will explain more about my top recommended way for this later. But what you need to know is that there's a lot of methods that just does not work and where you'll just end up wasting your time. And many creators unfortunately just create videos with fake claims just to get views. And I get very upset when I see that and when people come and ask me and have wasted hours and sometimes weeks and months using techniques that just does not work because they are hoping to get rich overnight. And let me just reveal right away, that is not how it works to make money with affiliate marketing. If you do it right, you can make really good money. But first I then want to go over a few techniques that I have seen and explain how they work because this is what I've seen many people do uh, and waste a lot of time doing. So I will explain what the theory behind it is and why it might not work because this is a part of educating yourself to learn how to focus correctly. So let's start by going over that before we then of course also go over what really works and the right approach to doing this. So the first method that I have seen quite a lot of people talk about is to use something like CPA grip. This can basically be any CPA network, meaning a network where you can get offers. You can see I can promote different offers. If I get people to take a certain action, I will get paid, you know, in this case, for example, just about $1. Sometimes it can be $2, $5, whatever, depending on the offer you're promoting. And often they're quite easy because they have these like win a free iPhone or whatever. And then people say, you know, just uncritically take one of these offers and then, uh, you know, you just promote it and you earn good money. First of all, don't just promote an offer without knowing it's actually worth promoting. That's just, you know, I have a lot of videos where I talk about that um, because that's it's really important and I will explain more about this later also. But when it comes to using Google Translate, what many people say, then you go to a network like this and you see, I would find some kind of offers in a country where I do not necessarily speak the language and it can also be a country where there's not that much competition. So not English, but for example, it could be Spanish, Fr uh, French, it could be, you know, uh, uh, you know, any of these countries you can see where there's some languages that I don't necessarily know, but I would then go and actually click this offer. I would jump to Google Translate and then I could get it translated. So I have that offer uh, without understanding Spanish, for example, and then I just go out and promote it and people in Spain or all the other Spanish speaking countries, which is a huge audience, will understand it. And then I will just start making $1 per person that takes that action. That's one method that some people claim. And it's just not, no, that's not how it really works because the major fault of this is that yes, in theory it can work, but if you do not know how to promote it, if you do not know how to get quality traffic, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I had some questions also on my channel. People say like, oh, I have, you know, hundreds of clicks on CPA grip or any other affiliate or CPA marketing network and why I'm not learning. Well, that's because you do not know how to get quality traffic. You're not promoting quality offers and, and, and then it's not going to work. And that's what many videos do not tell you. They just say, go here, you know, uh, translate it using Google Translate, then just post it on social media and you will make hundreds of dollars per day. No, that will not work. And you will understand later why this is not the right approach. So that's the first method that I wanted to explain. You should not just use uncritical like this because it will just waste your time. So let's over the next method I've seen a lot of people waste a lot of time doing. 
So if you search for anything online, you'll probably come across Quora, which is a forum where you can find a lot of different topics. People ask all kinds of questions and you, you can make some money with Quora if you do it correctly. But what some people say is, and that's where, again, you can end up getting banned quickly or just waste a lot of time is. But let's say you go and search for make money online. Then you find different questions that people ask about this. And what you can then do is that you can say like, how much would you have to make a day to make a million dollars a year? Maybe not so relevant, but you know, how do I earn money online from mobile work from home? That could be interesting. You know, you think like, okay, uh, that could be an interesting uh, question. So then what you would do, according to theory, <laughs> is that you would go here and then in English, you would write it in there. You would say like, uh, how do I make money online from my phone? Uh, and then, of course, you need to spell correctly, correct it there. And then you get that in Spanish, for example, it can be any language. And then they say, then you would copy this search just on Google regularly, and then you would find articles in that language. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, for example, Spanish or uh, you know, Hebrew, whatever you want to. Uh, and then you search on Google. So let's just do that. And then when you find some questions, you will find one that you think is good. And then you will copy that. You will go back to Google Translate according to theory. And you will then translate it from Spanish, in this case, into English. And then you will go to Quora. You will go and reply this with English because then they say, well, you didn't steal anything. You just translate. No, you actually did. It's still, you know, breaking copyright rules because, yeah, you're just translating automatically. First of all, there will be some errors in an automatic translation. Secondly, you are still stealing content. Thirdly, what they then say is that you would, to promote something with your reply in Quora, you would go to something like Warrior Plus, find some kind of get rich quick scheme and saying, oh, this is what you need to sign up for. And then you will earn commissions by doing that. But the reality is that most people will end up wasting money and time because the methods there that if you just uncritically promote products you don't know if working, you're just wasting people's time and money. But this is what I've seen many videos claim. You just go do this, steal content, translate it, and then promote BS products to other people on Quora. Many, many bad things about this. First of all, you're breaking copyright rules. Yes. Secondly, you promote sometimes offers that really does not work, that waste people's time and money. Thirdly, Quora will ban you if you start doing this and just uncritically spam affiliate links. So you will not last very long. This is a method like this that will not work. And I'm explaining this in details because it's so important that you educate yourself about all these different claims and what will work and will would not if you want to be successful online. So I have one more method that you need to know about that some people say will work and then we'll go over the right approach to doing this. But before doing that, ready, if you could just take one second to like this video because it can help it to be seen by more people and I would definitely appreciate that support. So the third method some people claim you can do is to just go and find a good website and just use Google Translate to uncritically translate everything, make your own website, promote it with affiliate links. I, you know, when you've heard what I've just said here, I'm pretty sure you can figure out yourself that is breaking the copyright rules. It is unethical. You are stealing from other people's hard work and you will not succeed because this shows that you have no idea what you're doing, that you do not understand how it really works to make money online. And if you come across anyone that claims that you should just do something like this, just unsubscribe or do not pay for any of their courses, anything like that. It will not work. Quick fixes like that is just not going to help you. You need to think differently to succeed online. So let's talk about what you really need to do then. So the reality is that affiliate marketing has huge potential and I make very good money myself with affiliate marketing and it gives a lot of freedom to be able to work completely on your own terms. But it is not something that will happen overnight. Any video, any person that claims it just boo 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 a few clicks, just steal from others, do this, 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 promote offers without caring about the quality and you will earn hundreds of dollars per day. They are lying to you. Just do not listen to them. This is not how it works. It is a business you are creating. If you want to make money online, you need to treat it as a business, not as some kind of get rich quick scheme. They never work. You just end up wasting time and money. And I know people that have for years chased 
these get rich quick schemes and wasted thousands of dollars and you know, months or years just trying different techniques because they keep jumping from one get rich quick scheme to another. And if they had just focused on doing it the right way that whole time, they would be, by now be making really good money online. So what do you then need to do? Well, when it comes to affiliate marketing, there's a couple of things you first of all need to focus on. You need to find a way to create content that you feel comfortable about. Personally, I think some of the best ways to get started is YouTube or a website, depending on whether you prefer being on camera. You don't actually have to show your face uh, to make a YouTube channel successful or if you prefer writing. I will leave links below also to both my top recommended way about how to create a successful business with YouTube, but also through blogging if that is what you prefer. But you need to tr choose a traffic source, but that can basically be anything. It can also be social media or whatever, but these are the best, in my opinion, YouTube or website if you're a beginner and it's something anyone can learn if you just do it correctly. Then what you need to do is to get rid of the get rich quick mentality because you're going to fail if you do not treat this as a business where you know that you need to put in a lot of work before you will see great results. And then you need to focus on quality. What content are you creating? Are you actually really helping people or are you just trying to sell them all kind of BS that will not help them because that's not a sustainable way to make money. I know a lot of people that are trying to do this method and they make a little bit of commissions here or there, but they're chasing around trying to fake it to pretend that they're making a lot of money to sell products that does not work to others to make a little bit of money. It's unethical and it's not sustainable. So focus on quality content, what really helps people, what are you promoting? If you do not promote something that really helps people, it's not sustainable and it's unethical. So those two are very important aspects to build a successful long-term business and income, which is what you should definitely go for in my opinion. Because when it comes to making money online, what it's about is that you can actually make really good money by helping people. And when you help people, honestly, it will naturally convert into sales because they know they can trust you and that can make you really good money and they will keep trusting you and then the income just builds from there as snowballs and can make you really great money. And this is the approach you should go for. It will not happen overnight, but if you're willing to put in the effort, as mentioned, you need to first of all find the traffic source you want to start building up. As mentioned, my top recommended way is to use YouTube or a blog, depending on your preferences. I'll leave links below to more information about my top recommended ways to do this. But no matter what, just get rid of this get rich quick mentality. That will make you fail and stop watching videos that claim that you can make hundreds of dollars overnight by using techniques that you can, if you think about it, figure out will not work. It will not work to promote things that are fake and BS. It will not work to steal content from others or anything like that. If you think this is a little bit unethical, just stay away from it. Focus on quality, on helping others. That's an amazing way to make money. You make money, you help other people. That's a perfect uh, way to succeed in my opinion. And so many people have asked me about this. So I hope this video helped you and gave you some inspiration about the right approach and what you should stay away from. And if the video did help you, then make sure to hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time I see a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online.